<laughs> what is up everybody welcome back to the channel for episode 11 of the frugal foreman so before we dive into today's episode i do have a little bit of explaining as to why i'm posting this video on a sunday and a bit of an announcement to go along with it so i have come to the conclusion that we need to eradicate foreman fridays without getting too into it essentially my schedule and just the way that i'm able to record now it's kind of complicated and sometimes i'm not even able to record the episode until the saturday after the foreman friday or sometimes on foreman friday i'm recording it and then i don't get done until like six o'clock at night and then i have to make you guys wait until the next Friday instead of just posting it that following Saturday it literally makes no sense and so I am all about consistency in 2022 um, and I want to like post more of the series that I'm doing without having to make you guys wait so long and I feel like this is the way to go about it so let me know in the comments down below how do you feel about giving up Foreman Fridays I mean it's for a good reason you're gonna be getting more videos but I know how exciting it is to like know when something's coming and then the uncertainty of like a random upload is a little daunting but again i think it'll be i think it's a positive thing i think it's for a good reason anyways we are here in our brand new beautiful home we have finally moved in it's been about like well uh, like almost a day the only thing that we have on right now is the power so janelle does actually have to go up and set, set up the rest of the utilities because we currently don't have any running water or anything like that but a lot of things have been going on in their lives you guys and I'm so excited for this next chapter. I did do a video kind of like speed furnishing the place if you guys are interested and you want to check it out. Also, I promise I will go ahead and upload all of the Sims in the series on the Gallery Gen 2 606, but do keep in mind they obviously have custom content. So this episode is going to be focused on Janelle and Jake because again, there's some big life changes happening here. Jake just informed Janelle that he is going to be giving up his life of crime and the first way that he's able to do that yeah. is to officially leave his job as a ringleader he actually wants to go to university and maybe per, uh, pursue some type of degree he really wants to be the best person he can be because obviously in about i don't know how many hours he's about to be a full-fledged dad janelle is about to enter her third trimester and he couldn't be more excited so i'm gonna have janelle work on the things that she needs to do to get this house all settled we're gonna actually hop straight on into our snb bills app which i actually just installed this mod y'all and i'm like i'm hyped we need to go into the manage utilities actually just kidding i don't know what i'm doing home services tab and we can either customize our home services which will allow us to like turn on each one individually or we can uh, go and select a package so we're gonna select the premium welcome home package which includes everything from the previous packages plus premium cable and premium internet now I don't really think Janelle works too much from home but it would be just nice to have because I think Jake if he can he's gonna do uh, uh, university from the house like I don't know if he'll actually go on campus I don't even know if that's a thing because like I yeah I don't I don't know but we'll figure it out kind of as we go anyway money is a little tight right now just because we have all of the moving expenses um getting up the getting you know getting the utilities in order and for some reason okay uh we don't have an outdoor trash can yes we do why is it that we're not able to like clean up the piles a trash can's required to clean this up dude we literally have a trash can so i guess i have to do it manually i will say one thing adding in all these mods sometimes um like messes messes stuff up so jake is feeling really flirty and he kind of wants to like celebrate the homecoming by you know <laughs> someone a little woo hootie with janelle so we're gonna let him go ahead and do that uh poor coco is feeling really tense right now <gasps> she oh no she can actually get sick are you freaking kidding i didn't realize that whatever jake had um could have passed on to coco so i don't know if she is sick or whatever but we may actually have to take her to the vet jake is getting a phone call and it is from oh hi jake let me join the san maishuno saints so a sim actually wants to join the club he's in we're gonna say no sorry because we're actually trying to distance ourselves from that type of lifestyle not <laughs> indulge in it so uh we're, we're gonna we're gonna decline her request but i did notice that he has this little 
um, moodlet that he's basically ecstatic uh, to be a dad and he's also very happy in love. Now Jake is just feeling all the vibes right now. <laughs> I actually think he might feel a little spontaneous too um, and potentially ask a Janelle to propose. Now if you're thinking Jake is one of those guys where he's gonna be like super, I don't know, like calculated and like he probably, you know, would take her to a nice dinner and I'm not saying he's past all that, but he's just, he's just, he, he, he's the type of guy that likes to just, you know, I, I dive straight on in, you know, like I'm sure Janelle would have loved all that, but also like getting a bedside proposal to you as well. Like she couldn't think of anything else she would rather do. Um, <laughs> even though she probably wouldn't want to get proposed to in her trunk list, but that's okay. So we're obviously going to accept his proposal and look at him getting down on one knee. <gasps> Baby, of course I will. Oh my God, it's beautiful, Jake. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Janelle is seriously so excited right now, you guys. She can't even believe it. She's going to be a married woman. Oh my God, I have, the excitement is rushing straight to her bladder. She's going to go and pee like a champion real quick. And then obviously, we're going to get straight on the phone with our mom and tell her all the details. I can't even believe it. We're actually going to get married. Like now we have to plan a wedding on top of everything else. I love it. She's on the, she's on the toilet. Making a phone call to her mom. Jake is still kind of like tantalizing with the idea of maybe staying in the criminal field, but he knows that it would be in his best interest and also the interest of his family to just quit his job. Uh, I don't know how exactly we're going to go about getting enrolled in university, but he's going to look into it. He's a little hungry, so maybe we'll make like a little snack first. Uh, let's see what we can cook up. So we have a toaster now, which is really exciting. I don't even know if Jake, well, I know Jake has used a toaster, but it's been a while. So all these options are kind of overwhelming. I kind of want to make, um, like a curse. No, 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 no. An English muffin. <gasps> Jake loves English muffins. Like Janelle just went grocery shopping. So we have like a ton, a ton of goodies inside, you know, like our pantry and whatever. So obviously he's gonna, he's gonna have at it. So all these little hair piles though, I'm not gonna lie, like are killing me right now. I wonder if maybe uh janelle uh where the hell is coco she kind of like blends into the rest of the house if janelle comes over here and brushes her will that kind of help let's like pet her really quick and then we're also gonna bust out the handy dandy hairbrush uh let me see actually let's just brush her first i don't know i feel like my game is kind of glitchy i don't know why, why but there's just like a lot of things going on and my phone just buzzed and it sounded like it farted <laughs> i'm like that wasn't me and who was it? I don't know. See, like, last deception is being weird. Anyways, Coco should hopefully stop shedding. But, dude, I'm going to have to get rid of this, like, moodlet real quick because I don't want her um, to be sick. I love how we haven't trained Coco to go potty yet. So she's still using the freaking, like, um, the, the, well, she's using newspapers right now because we didn't get her, like, a little wee-wee pad. But... We definitely need to work on that. So Janelle's also really hungry. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just get her like a little baguette and jam. After that, we'll have her go and take a little shower. I'm thinking she is getting sleepy. Jake also kind of needs to use the bathroom. But uh, let's go over here to our plum Mac. Oh, my God. This thing is so crazy. Oh, we need to also contact SimsLink customer service, which I think is so weird, especially if you have the SMB mod. I thought they were compatible. Um, so maybe that's what we'll do jake jake is gonna handle the rest of you know getting the utilities all set up while janelle's in the bathroom because it's just too much for her to handle right now i think it's in the oh no the flyer oh there's like a dis oh no 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 no, no. there's a discount flyer in the mail jake go get that go get that go get that oh my god the neighbors are gonna love him they're like did you see that hot steamy hunk that just moved He's taken. Janelle will literally crumple bottom your ass, okay? She'll hit you so hard with the purse, you won't even know what hit you. Dooney or bark, you feel me? So let's also come over here and fill the bowl. God damn it, Janelle, take care of yourself. You're eating. I get it. That's good. But like, <laughs> go take a shower. Relax, mama. You don't You don't need to do it all. Jake's got you. Also, Jake kind of high-key wants to call his brother and Maurice, of course. Why is she? Do you see her? She's like, 
glitching all over the place. Um, but call call Maurice and also call his brother and let them know the good news. There's yeah, see, there's a coupon in here. Simslink customer service. Thank you for choosing Simslink. A discount has been applied to your next bill. Be sure to pay on time, otherwise your discount will be invalidated. It's already like three. So I'm thinking like an evening appointment would be the best. Also, Janelle is telling Jake he needs to go in for a dental cleaning. Um, I'm going to have him schedule that too as well. Also, fee freed from the rat race. What is that? Okay, uh, manage add-ons. We're going to do TV and music service. I don't know if those are going to be like additional. Oh, look at Coco. Oh my God. She is so cute okay a part of me i know this is probably bad but a part of me wants to breed her and like make little puppies but i want to get like um i think she's a maltese correct i can't remember if you guys remember let me know but i kind of want to like get a brown maltese and like breed them and then like sell the puppies is that bad that's bad i wouldn't do that in real life but just in the game because like look look how much money we have we only have twenty three hundred dollars anyways did she ever finish the baguette she didn't all right well you know what we are feeling very very tired jake is handling the rest of the um utilities and the bills we've got that scheduled he needs to go to the bathroom but i'm kind of thinking we'll call maurice and jake too here in just a second um it's kind of sad though because like now if we want them to come and visit us it's going to be harder to see them like there is a part of jake of course that's like ah oh, feeling homesick already but like the excitement of everything is still very fresh so it's not like that bad yet. You know what I mean? It hasn't sunk in. Uh, I kind of don't want to take a shower until the, okay, your Sims Link technician is on the way. Got it. All right. So yeah, I was going to have him take a shower, but I probably won't until um, the guy comes. So let's brush our teeth really quick. I'm going to see if I can schedule like a dentist appointment. There we go. Let's do that too. Man, look at Jake all grown up, you guys. He definitely needs to like drop the club banger clothes <laughs> and get into something a little more daddy-ish, I think. I think it'd be cute to kind of see that transition, all jokes aside. So purchase dental care supplies. Um, no members of this household need to schedule dental. Dude, his teeth are like rotting out of his head. What do you mean? I might have to update that mod, but maybe they just don't have any appointments right now. So we'll just, we'll just chill. But a Alas, our technician has arrived and I actually put in the little doorbell mod. I can't remember who this is from. I think it's Arnie, I believe. And it's cute because it actually like, you can hear it. I'll, I'll do it later. I'll have Jake ring the doorbell. Your home currently does not have a router. Please select a surface for me to place one for free and I'll begin the installation. Thank you. You're welcome. And Jake, come press the damn doorbell. I want him to do it. I want him to do it. Watch, watch, watch. Isn't that cool? And his little finger does it and everything. I love it. Okay, so let's select a uh, surface. The only thing is I don't really like have a surface. I mean, I guess we could put it here at a little entertainment center. Uh, we can always remove it later. So let's see if this will work. Okay, cool. I love his little uniform and stuff. I mean, hypothetically speaking, I guess Jake could technically become um, a technician that would be kind of cool okay all right so get wi-fi password all right, i think all of our things should work now um let me go and check on our computer it says this lot does not have okay i think he's still actually installing it so i don't think there's anything left that we need to do we're gonna go take a speedy shower really quick while the technician is installing um, all the cables and stuff. Coco is literally on one right now. I don't know what's going on, um, but she's like super sick. And I am like kind of freaking out a little bit because she's like, she's the zoomies. She's running everywhere. Janelle doesn't want to sleep too long. And she hears all the commotion happening in like the living room and stuff. And so obviously she wants to go and see what's going on. So we're going to have her go and check on the technician. Jake is super duper tired. But once the technician is done, we're actually going to have him go look into, you university so let's have him relax for just for a quick little second he also wants to buy a dishwasher which apparently janelle doesn't have all right our router is live cool super cool uh we're a little hungry too was there something else that i needed to do i feel like there was but i can't quite remember what all right so jake now that the internet is active oh my god she took her herself out you guys look at that uh let's have him go and see what it would be to get into university so 
We're going to research universities, but I'm not really sure which one we should do. Maybe we should just apply to the universities. And then obviously it's going to give us a little bit of, <gasps> you got to be kidding me. Is it because you're stuck? I hate this. I have so many mods in like nothing works anymore. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's go and uh, apply to the universities. There we go. Awesome. So I think once you do, doesn't it like show you who you got? Okay. What are our skills? Um, it'll show you who you got accepted into or which one you got accepted into, right? So apparently, um, this is all of our information. He's really bad at research and debate. He's super gregarious, uh, indifferent to being romantically exclusive. Janelle would love to hear that. Um, and yeah, we know he's lactose intolerant because he's like shit himself on several occasions. Oh my God, Kyra, Janelle, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. What do you think? Uh, honestly, I feel like you should follow your heart, Kyra. You always do anyway. And it's not like my opinion actually matters, but I called you so I didn't have to decide myself. What a great surprise. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. Seeing you just show up at my doorstep. I, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm so excited. We're going to give her the keys to the house. <laughs> you know, little drop bys are no big deal, but I'm sure Jake is like, you know, living for that. He's so tired right now, you guys, but he really wanted to go to the gym too a little bit. And oh, look who's, uh, look who's, uh, Colin, Kayla. <laughs> hey, Janelle, we'd love to have you join the social climbers. No thanks. I've got a lot going on. In fact, she wants to earn a promotion. So writing articles is the ticket. We definitely need to do that. Wow. Mom's super excited to have the key. She said, of course, I'll never drop by unannounced, you know, um, yes. I just just to have it for peace of mind. Now, here's the thing. Jake actually needs to fly back because he's got some stuff still left it back at the house, like the duffel bag of cash. He has like 50 G's there. Uh, I think Janelle just invited her mom to hang out and stay for the uh, TV season premiere. I'm so excited. Jake and Janelle, they love to watch this show. Well, she already knows about the engagement, but we'll tell them anyway. They love to watch this show. Um, it's called Married at First Sight. And they're like literally obsessed. And I think it's like season 14 now or something like that. What's coming on tonight. So maybe we should like grab a little popcorn or something, you know, like kind of make it a day. Also, J well Janelle can't really drink but typically oh my god having like a little champagne because she's bougie we know this about Janelle she's kind of bougie but honestly she would like sell the skin off her back right now for a glass of champagne or some wine but you know she's pregnant so that's not an option anyways here's the sugar cane a popcorn popper it's 155 simoleons I really do need them to be a little more mindful about their purchases just I mean I know that seems like a lot but actually like I'll show you later our bills are now higher than ever um Janelle's purse is here so maybe I could like move that over to like the you know um entertainment center area i don't want her to like lose her wallet or like her glasses because she like loves those selena glasses oh so, if i lost them she'd probably hang me uh from a kite but anyways let's pick i don't know what kind of swatch i want let's do like a little gray so um i don't know if you guys could probably tell but you probably could uh i'm definitely filming this a little bit more differently now um before i was doing it scene by scene which is really nice but i also kind of like this more organic kind of playthrough type of vibe so let me know how you feel about this like film style it's kind of similar to like my castaway lp uh but i feel like it i don't know i feel like it fits a little bit better i don't know um so we're gonna cook uh, cooked some buttered popcorn she isn't able to cook uh caramel popcorn which sucks but this is going to be totally fine i don't know if we have like any soda or anything like that but jake he should be coming up on the energy and it's not coming up quick enough so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of our like satisfaction points and i think what i'm gonna have him do um not not that i approve of this method but we're gonna use a little moodlet solver because like i said just all of the pressure of moving and everything that's been going on it's just a lot and i also didn't realize um that this hamper here is functional we don't have a washer and dryer like if i could fit it right here i totally would that is like the most janky place to put it or possibly i could put it right here and move the 
the the the toilet i don't know i'm gonna have to think about it. if you guys can like find a location in the house that would be good for the washer dryer let me know um otherwise i might have to get rid of the hamper but all right so we've got that going on i'd really appreciate it if jake would actually like wear some damn clothes here uh so let's do his just his like pajamas at this point because it is well that is his pajamas he needs new he needs to like stop dressing as like a single guy living in an apartment full of dudes and like dress as a future husband janelle has just learned that kyra is an assistant dishwasher at make a wish <laughs> <laughs> sorry but that is like kind of funny also i am slightly offended because this girl okay this one right here kyra dodson is going into the culinary arts career like only reason she knows how to cook is because of maurice but there's something else that i didn't tell you guys you know how in the last episode maurice got into the business career at level five well guess who put in a good word for him that's right milton he kind of felt bad about the situation and decided to give this kid a leg up and i'm kind of feeling like good vibes towards milton right now like that was that was like uh, he did maurice a solid so i'm really excited to see how that's going for him because business like i still don't know how that like connects but anyway uh we need to get the damn show on the road um i do have some good news mom's very excited about the engagement friends and family have been notified of an impending wedding of an impending wedding who doesn't love weddings? Yes, exactly. Janelle does need to go to the bathroom, but I was going to have them order uh, a little bit of pizza and then kind of gather the snacks and sit down for the TV premiere. Oh, Janelle is seriously so happy right now. Look at the steam coming off the popcorn. She's like, ah, oh, smells like happiness. Even Jake is like so excited right now. Like, this is so fun. I love seeing them like all together. It's a cute little family. Like, I literally can't wait until his baby's born. Uh, also, side note, Jill, Jill, well, Janelle did kind of a dumb thing. She didn't realize like this photo frame that she had purchased was actually a TV. So uh, we've got like two televisions right now. I, it's a little confusing, but it's definitely, um, you know, kind of cool, I guess. I mean, no wonder it was so expensive when she bought it. Like this thing was like $5,000. So yeah, they're watching their little, little TV premiere right now. I'm super excited for them. We do have like a pizza and whatnot. So maybe we'll come over and grab that. I don't know why Mama, Mama Phillips is fighting with Coco, but oh, okay. Okay, Janelle, we see. We see why uh, Jake loves you so much. You can really throw it back. Do you see her like tossing the popcorn into her mouth? Um, well, uh, this is a little bit weird. So during the premiere, all of a sudden, Janelle's sitting on the couch and she's like, uh, um, Jake, uh, I, th I think I peed myself. And Eloise is like, no, baby girl, that that is not pee, honey. Your water just broke. So Janelle's just kind of sitting here about to fall asleep. Coco's over here licking up the um, <laughs> amniotic fluid while the, the TV premiere is just, you know, playing in the background. Like literally right now is so chaotic. I can't even describe it into words. But let me just tell you, this little girl's timing is impeccable. Like I love her already. So naturally what we need to do is we need to get Janelle to the hospital because I kind of want to like, I want to, I want to see... Uh, her give birth, right? So let's just calm down. Everybody chill. I don't think anybody could even be more calmer than they are now, but we are going to have the baby at the hospital. And I'm thinking, gosh, it would be really shady of us to like not like let our mom in because she's here. So we're going to do that. We're actually, you know, can we invite everybody? This is like insane that we're going to do it this way, but we're going to invite, oh no, we can only invite one other person. Oh, that kind of sucks. Okay. Well then I'm sorry, mom. They are only letting in um the spouse right now but i'm excited oh my god she came early like she was not even supposed to come until at least a few more weeks so that was kind of an exciting surprise i don't even know what to name her y'all i'm like oh my god i'm like giddy i'm excited their baby's coming i can't wait to see what she looks like when she's older oh my god so many things are running through my head right now all right let's just chill janelle still looks fashionably fabulous i love how <laughs> jake had to get into the zone with his game on shirt so janelle's like really excited about this i kind of want jake to chill his tits i wanted to see if we can get a picture i don't know if we actually have like a plum no we don't we don't we don't have an advanced uh plum fruit phone so we're just gonna use like our classic old camera i I want to take a second to capture this moment. So we're going to take a photo of 
Janelle. It would be better if she was in her um her what you might call it. Uh, God, her her hospital gown. That'd be really cool too. Um, but I think this might work. So she's like super nervous and very chilly. We're gonna do the hot dog style uh, of camera frame here, and then I'm just gonna like. Oh, there we go. Okay, Belly's in business. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to get her to in it, but it's like hard to capture everything. Doesn't she look fabulous? She looks so good. I wish I looked that good when I was giving birth because let me tell you, <laughs> I look like I was coming out of the sewer with that nonsense, but it's okay. You know what? It was still beautiful. Anyways, we need to get her checked in. I don't know if she actually has to go in to the front desk and check herself in, but um, we need we need to we need to get this done. Can we do it? I don't know. I, I'll check in at front desk. Okay, perfect. The doctor's here, or the nurse is here. And Jake, oh my God, don't be peeking. Don't be peeking, sir. I know he was trying to see if he could like see her little booty crack through the slit, but uh, my gosh, he's so nervous right now. I kind of want him to like take a little selfie. Oh, really? You got to be over here. Don't, who did that? You did that. He's over there like now who ripped ass in the lobby. Jake, you ripped ass in the lobby. Go follow your girl. Come on. She's over here. She's a, she's a woman on a mission. <laughs> Do you see this? She's ready to pop this baby out out like last sunday uh at least the tv season premiere was successful come on let's go i'm so excited should we should we this is bad i don't even think you're allowed to do this but we're gonna take a selfie inside the uh operating room oh of course you would you <laughs> sun's out guns out oh, i'm dead you did not jake <laughs> jake felder I love you. I love you so much. She's over here having a coming to Jesus. And you're over there taking. She's like, babe, really? Oh, she's like in the middle of contractions. Oh, my God. That is going on Instagram or Simstagram. I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on. Give me my baby. Are you guys ready? I don't even know what we're gonna go with. Oh my god, he. Oh, oh, that was a little. That's a little complicated. Congratulations, it's a girl. But you know, we already knew that. Janelle just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call her? All right, so here we are in the comments. I noticed this comment by Jake Roberts that got you know quite a few like thumbs ups or whatever. Um, and it says, okay, but since the gender of the baby was announced on Christmas, I think it would be absolutely adorable if Jake and Janelle named their baby Noel. I'm almost thinking of Joel because Jake, Janelle, and Janelle, well, actually, no, Noel. Noel's good. I was thinking of Joel, but then I was like, that's too close to Janelle. But anyway, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who commented. Look at all this love, you guys. Seriously, these comments. <laughs> Mwah! They make me so excited. Um, but also, I did want to touch base on what happened in the last episode. How Melissa like literally rejected Mar 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 Martine like in front of everybody. I was kind of upset, but a lot of you guys were like, you know what, like. You know, applauding her for living her truth and speaking on it. For instance, Angel Summer said, "Poor Martine." But I can respect Melissa's not being ready. Though I think they're such a cute couple, I can't help but wonder how he must feel seeing Jake move on with his life. Meanwhile, he's struggling financially. I think baby girl's name should start with a J. Janae is what comes to mind. I seriously could not choose between Janae and Noelle because they're such great suggestions. I decided to go ahead and combine them. So we have Janae for the first name, Noelle for her middle name, and then Felder for her last name because obviously Jake's last name is Felder. I'm hoping Hoping. I can't remember if it is or it isn't, but obviously Mama Janelle will be a Felder too very, very, very soon. Uh, so it kind of just fits. And then oh, there she is, our beautiful little girl. Oh my goodness. Look at those eyelashes, Mama. She came out sleeping. I hope she'll be a good baby. Jake is still kind of freaking out a little bit because the doctor is taking kind of a little more time than usual to make sure that Janelle you know, snaps back or whatever. But here we go. Baby girl in hands. Oh, she is so beautiful. I mean, as beautiful as a little baby potato could be. Uh, is it possible for, you know, daddy photographer over here to maybe snap a little picture? I don't know if we'll get lucky. <gasps> But I would literally die if we... Oh, you suck. Oh, my God. Okay, we can't... Well, maybe, like, 
you know what this could be? Like a little teaser on Simstagram? How about that? I mean, all of the influencers do it. Oh, isn't she precious, Janelle? She looks just like you when you were a baby. I love how Eloise is still here and feeling so sentimental towards her granddaughter. She's like, congratulations, baby. I'm so proud of you. She's absolutely precious. And not to mention, she came home stinky. <laughs> like, well, she pooped herself on the car right here. So we had to change her diaper really quick. But if you're wondering why I have a floating baby, that's just because I have like the little, um, you know, invisible bassinet mod in so I can actually put her in a custom crib. I just noticed like she barely has any room in here. So we need to go and have Janelle like take care of her daughter because obviously she's kind of hungry and stuff and also very frightened. She just she just came into the world out of like nowhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a dark cave so obviously um you know she's feeling a little like scared and whatnot but we're gonna let Eloise go home I kind of want Jake to try to like um how do you say like uh build a relationship with her mom because I just noticed like it's actually kind of bad like their relationship should be a lot higher than what it is. I mean, they've had several interactions. I don't know why it's like so low. Uh, but what I'm thinking is maybe what I'll do, uh, maybe take a picture with her and like that always just makes the you know, relationships better. But like, let's take a little, let's take a little photo together and we'll see something like um, happy grandma or, you know, proud grandma, something like that. What is wrong with Coco? She's feeling so tense. Jake, you literally got everybody in the house sick. Like, what do you have to say for yourself? We'll probably just like fart and call it a day to be honest, but yeah she's she's just well, talking to Jake like, and saying how proud of, of him she is and he's kind of telling her about like his, her his dreams you know uh he wants to go to university that this move really inspired him to become a better person and she's just loving all of that right now she's like wow you know all this is just it's a reason to celebrate, you know? So we're going to take a little picture with her. I'm not going to lie. Janelle's mom is, like, <laughs> really freaking pretty. Like, she's absolutely gorgeous. And Jake, he's he's looking really cute, too. Um, But, yeah, it's, like, 4.30 in the morning. And I'm pretty sure Eloise has to go to work. Look at that. Their relationship is so boosted. We're going to send her home right now. And I'm thinking oh, everybody kind of needs to, like, settle in for the night. Oh, she just fell asleep. Janelle, take a picture. Sure. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's like going to be so hard to wait for her to like grow up. I'm like not even kidding. I can't wait to see what she looks like. Definitely had to do a little bit of finagling to get this picture, but it is so cute. I mean, it's not perfect, but I definitely like it a lot. Now, Jake is going to do um, something a little funny, but also this is kind of why I think Janelle loves him so much is he does weird shit like this. I want him to, if he can... I don't know how exactly this works. Oh, import photo as a wallpaper. I'm not even joking you. He's going to do this. He's going to import. <laughs> Let's find a better quality one. Uh, he's going to import this picture that he took of Janelle <laughs> into the computer and use it as the um, the uh, desktop wallpaper or whatever. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's like a gnome in it. No. Ew. Those are bad omens. We already know this. We do not like gnomes. Jake hates gnomes. So that's definitely not going to work for me. Let me go and see if we can use a different one. But isn't that so funny? Like, <laughs> look at her face. She begged him, y'all, not to post that on Instagram. So he's not going to do it, even though I'm not going to lie. That probably gets so many likes. But uh, this one looks a little bit better. I feel so bad for Janelle. She's off to work. She literally just had her baby like last night and had has no maternity leave whatsoever. I am at hello there. <laughs> Not exactly so sure why that is. Maybe because she's just taken off so much work, you know, moving into this house and stuff. But that's OK. If she's comfortable going to work, I'm going to let her do it. Uh, but Jake is going to stay home and take care of a little Miss Janae. We're going to change her dirty diaper. I can't wait to see this because it's his first time. And then we'll also like feed her and we're gonna cuddle as well. Look at that, we reached uh, level one of the parenting skill. He's such a good dad. He really is. He loves this little baby with all of his heart. He definitely needs to get um, Martine out here for sure to see his niece. I'm so excited. I definitely need to like text him a picture or something. Can I do that? Like, is that, is that like, yeah, I think I can. Hold on. Let me go and see really quick if I can um, text him a little picture. So let's do messages and then we're going to send. Oh, we can't. 
Really? You can't send a picture? That's kind of stupid. Uh, let's just send a text message to him then. How about that? And let him know that she's doing really good. And we'll send pictures a little bit later. He can check check her uh, his Instagram, but I don't know. Oh my god, look at him! So cute! Uh, I think to, this morning maybe we should be getting our oh god we left the pizza out did it spoil one hour and seven minutes until spoiled oh we're lactose intolerant anyway that does make sense because he didn't eat it but i didn't want it to go bad either um let me see what is he doing right now oh he's sending in the text okay cool all right so i think janae should fall back asleep here in just a minute and then for him you know, I'm not really sure if we can, like, check our application status or anything. Like, I'm not really... How do we... Yeah, let's check our application status really quick. Otherwise, I think you can wait until it gets into the mail. All right, that's a little bit of a bummer. The application is still going through the system. Check back soon. Jake is seriously one of the most impatient people ever, so him, like, waiting is not necessarily a vibe. I don't know why the heck this keeps happening. Empty trash. Like, none of my trash cans work. If you guys have had this issue and know how to fix it, like, let me know. But I've literally never seen this happen before. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Late nights on the sofa, chilling, watching TV, doing nothing with you. Doing nothing with you. Yeah. I'm so thankful. Everything that life has been putting me through Cause now I get to be with